designer, a product designer, but also a very conceptual designer, and I've kind of evolved into a design researcher. Um, I've been working with textiles a lot, and especially uh, combinations between craft textiles and high-tech textiles. I've been doing a lot of material experiments through a workshop that was evoking a lot of, uh, a lot of different things uh, that we could try out. Uh, but there was also a girl who brought a piece of 3D printed material uh, because it reminded her of weaving. Um, and that kind of sparked my imagination because I thought, what if you literally start weaving with a 3D printer on top of textile? Uh, can you change the structure of textile? You're using PLA. We wanted to include uh, the silk that Ebarasan uh, is making because it's such a beautiful and fine quality. Uh, it's very, very, it looks very fragile, uh, very light. え、自社の生地を使ってですね、え、どういったものができるかその可能性をま、探るために今回のデザインラボと一緒に知恵を出し合いながら考えてどこまでその生地が可能性をが秘められてるかっていうのをま、探るという。で、3 for inspiration for the design of my patterns, um, I started looking at traditional Japanese patterns, geometrical patterns, um, because they are often consisting of uh, single shapes that are arranged in really beautiful ways to make geometrical patterns. And I thought maybe I can use that uh, to create the structure of my textile. ポリニオさん樹脂でできてまして自然分解します。環境に優しいということがま一つのテーマです。で、生地の上にこのようにプラスチックを乗せてホットプレスで熱を加えて溶かして引き付けてこのプラスチックによる構造物いわゆる補強
ジニアというのは私だけじゃなくてほとんどの人がそういう見せ方とは分からなくて機能の追求ばかりして、まあ、物性評価は得意なんですけどもそれをプロダクトにどう生かすかというのが非常に不得意なんですねで今回のミッシェルさんの作品はいかにその材料を見せるかというところに素晴らしさがあったと思いますで、まあ、これはシルブとポリニーさんで聞いてますけどもじゃあエンジニアはこれから何をしていけばいいかというと、まあ、これ例えば例えばですランプシェードを作った場合にじゃあランプシェードの耐久性はどうなのかとかですね構造的な強度はどうなのかというところはまたエンジニアがこれをフィードバックしてより見た目もいいし機能的にも素晴らしいというのを作り上げていければエンジニアとデザイナーのよきコラボレーションができるかなというふうに思っておりますあくまでもターゲットはお坊様<笑>でお坊様にいろいろなそのデザインとかカラーあとできれば一緒にデザインもこちら側からメーカーから提案していきたいこれが課題だと思っていますやはり長い歴史のお寺の歴史のヒストリー歴史があるからそう簡単には変えれないでも少しずつならできるかもしれない可能性がある With these traditional、uh, materials,、um, it's, it is a great challenge to do something new with them.、Mm. Um, I think it's important to preserve those traditions, but、uh, there's different forms of preserving. There's、uh, passive preserving, where it's just being documented,、uh, maybe being displayed in museums and forcefully being tried to keep things the same. But there's also a, an active form of preservation, and by adopting new technologies and by embracing new ways of making, Uh, you can actually keep evolving、um, the, the, te- the technique and keep working with the material、uh, and, to, and keep showing that it has a relevance、uh, even today to use those traditional materials. But by embracing new things and trying to, uh, uh, to combine them with new developments,、uh, which can inspire each other, technology can inspire、uh, uh, the way materials produced and the material. Can inspire new developments for the technology.